hello hello everyone we are on the road again um, if you've seen the previous videos we are on a road trip to New York City but staying in Secaucus New Jersey so because we are already in New Jersey we are going to head to Jersey City when you come to Jersey City you will find that there's a huge population of Filipinos here for this reason you will find that there are many many restaurants here that are Filipino such as Jollibee Max's restaurant Red Ribbon even, as well as Philippine Bakery, Filipino stores. So if you're feeling homesick being away from the Philippines, this is the place to visit. Jersey City is a place that's very close to my heart because this is the area that we settled in as a family when we first came here to the States. It isn't easy being new in a new place where you don't have much of anything and you left everything behind. But here, you don't need much of anything to get by. A big plus is that it's a walking city, therefore you don't need a car to get around. For practicality's sake, initially we stayed in a one bedroom with two beds, the whole family in that room for a couple of months. Later on, we were able to move to a townhouse. My parents found jobs to make ends meet and even found a way to enroll us in private school. Living here was a stepping stone. Years later, we would move to the suburbs. I'm forever thankful to the city and the experiences that it offered that made us stronger today. So here we are at our target destination, Max's Restaurant. We arrived here at Max's Restaurant even before it opened. We were so excited to once more have a taste of Max's Chicken. But since we were there too early, we had to wait, and so let's just take a look around. As I looked around the restaurant, I found the story of how Max's restaurant got started. It's been written here that it all started after World War II. Maximo Jimenez had American friends who would come over his house for drinks and meals. After a while, the American troops insisted upon paying, and this is when Maximo Jimenez decided to start a cafe. But it was Ruby, his niece, who concocted the famous Max's chicken recipe. Mmm, look at this, so yummy! That was a delightful experience. The food did not disappoint and the service was also respectful. In the meantime guys, let's go next door and take a look at some Filipino groceries. This one is a new find for me, Pansit Bihon Malungay. Any of you guys ever tried this before? Okay. 
Okay guys, so this cheese right here, how many of you use this for your spaghetti or even palaman for your pandesal? Well, this cheese is like gold because over here this costs $11.99 guys. Yeah, an arm and a leg. Star margarine is now in a green container instead of yellow. That's how I remembered it, but one of my faves. And I, of course, miss the tropical flavors that Filipino ice cream has to offer. My favorite, mango. That was so much fun, guys. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this little trip to Georgia City. I hope you guys um, learned something or had fun with me and I'll see you again next time on another video. Love you guys!